Good morning, everybody. Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. It looks like some things have changed while I was sleeping. Okay, what do we got? The Masochist, one of my patrons, welcomes you to visit the knob outside. Not much there, but it's there. I think he means that big dome that we saw before. There's a new toy at those coordinates, it looks like. Uh, greetings, this is 930 Inc. We apologize for any inconvenience caused by the damage to this outpost. Please enjoy the one-time free repair carried out by our drone team and quality of life upgrade pack installed. <laughs> okay. We hope you enjoy your stay. Due to a problem, we have refunded the solar components. Solar components. Sorry for uh, any convenience times 20. Okay, sounds good. What do we got? We got, uh, we can toggle the LCD block. Why, why is there a, okay, and then this one is, oh, the lights. Okay. Well, let's go see what else is around. Does that mean that they put stuff in the cargo containers? Holy cow. They have given me much solar cells. No complaints. And, um... Oh, they sealed this place. And they put some stuff in. It looks like. Oh, a nice little room. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. I wonder, is that... That's interesting. Is that the LCD panel that's controlled from down here? Because I noticed that neither of these changed when I pressed that button. Oh. Auto doors for easy entry and exit. Was that... Ah, that's that one. Alright, let's see what's outside. <laughs> As I vent the entire place. It's probably not quite the intended method. Is it just me, or is this in a different location than it was before? But still without... Okay. I think it just got moved or something. So they fixed up the habitat here, but didn't do anything to the tower or that kind of thing. <laughs> so they bent it once again. I'm not thinking. I'm just walking around. It's okay. This is the one that I'm supposed to use. Oh, what's going on out here? We've got a smoking thing. Automated Medical Assistance Incorporated, ASME, has arrived. We have recently seen your WBT crash. We are here to protect and assist you. Please head to the ASMI resource collection signal for your resources. We've also had 930 Inc. build you a vehicle. Head to the antenna behind the rock. Looks like Destiny and Jay Moore have done this. So kind of you guys. I should have known better. I should have known. <laughs> oh my. Yep, there I am. I was even looking at it, thinking to myself, oh, and welcome. Oh, and there's a big present over there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was looking at that and I'm thinking, oh, they gave me a flying vehicle before I'm really supposed to have one. And I was already thinking about, well, maybe I'll make a wheeled vehicle anyway. And yeah, no, they just made it blow up. So we've got a holiday present. You can come in now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that's the resource post. Let's go see what's in the present. Hopefully this one won't explode. Oh, I heard that. I promise it isn't a bomb. <laughs> nice, guys. Nice. It's not a bomb. It's guns. No, what is... 
What do we got? Oh! Very nice. Well, let's hop in. And it didn't even explode. Isn't that nice? I don't think that's supposed to be there. What do you think? Alright, let's uh, maybe remove that. So I think that was just meant to hold it in place. So, should we go get the resources first, or should we go over to the big knob? You can come in now. Let's go check this out first, and then we'll go over to the resources that were promised. This is a nice little vehicle. I like it. Oh, there's a thing over here. That That's new. So let's go check this guy out. Because apparently I can come in now. Ah. Turn on some lights. Got some partially created things, including a refinery, it looks like. There we go. There's a whole bunch of ice in there. That's that's all that's in there is a bunch of ice. Is that really all there is? I mean, he did say not much, and that's very not much. Okay. That was a odd little ball of nothing. So this medium cargo container has two large connectors and two small connectors. One of the small connectors is on that ejector. The other one's there. But large items can't be transferred, so all these things cannot be transferred through a small connector. Which means the only way to access that and put these kinds of things in there is through this little corner. But that's okay. What do we have here? Okay, I see a door. Uh, solar are temp for bat. Oh, solars are temporary for battery recharge. This is a transport barge. Enjoy from Destiny. And there's more parts. Oh, 5,800 motors. That's handy. Is that a. No, it's just a window. That scared me for a second. And a bunch more things in here. That works. Let's go check out that resources beacon over here. There's also four minutes left on that unknown signal that I might want to try out. Oh, 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 a little bit of a cliff there. I didn't, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of cliffs right now. What am I going to get? I got a badger welder. That was not exciting. Ooh, something's venting gas over there. Hmm, what are you? A drilling ship, huh? Not good things have happened to you. Welcome to the ASMI resource outpost. Take what you need. Don't dig under. <laughs> Okay. Fault detected. More details inside. Are you going to blow me up again? I don't trust you anymore. And that is definitely venting. Something bad is happening there. That looks like a particle emitter. There we go. Don't trust you, man. Fly up for nice view. <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of a cool way to do that. A little grid around the vent. Fault detected with panels, vent, med, med bay, refinery, assembler, and door. Estimated time goes off in two minutes. I may have triggered some sort of bad countdown. But there's a whole bunch of free stuff in here, so I'm not going to complain. And just a little bit of hydrogen. Can I get this? Nope. It is not connected in the right way. Uh, access to refinery and assembler. Fly up for a nice view. I think he means out here. Oh, that is a nice view. 
That's pretty. Okay, so we've got some more resources available to us if we want to come back and get those. I'm not going to worry about it quite yet. I think what I want to do is I want to go check out that chalet that we saw right at the end of the last episode. There we go. Radio interference detected at this location. The last time I came here, it was pitch black, middle of the night. And all I could tell was that there was a road. Couldn't tell where it went, what it did, or anything. But I've been told that since I'm planning on going that direction, that this would be the right vehicle to bring. Let's find out how well this vehicle is suited for this road. Bumpy. It's already having trouble. No, there we go. All right, what is this called again? The Ironwood Ridge Ski Resort and Chalet. Speed limit 20? 20 what? 20 meters per second? Yeah, I can do that. And up the road we go. It's actually nice and smooth. That's nice. Recently plowed, I assume. It's getting less nice. It's loading in the terrain right in front of me. This is fun. <laughs> Ooh. Doing okay? We're going to keep making this? This is kind of steep. Oh, I kind of feel like I should increase the power to the wheels or something. We don't need this anymore. I think we're going to do that. Okay, hang on. Whoa, no, 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 no. Can we even stop? I saw that there's kind of a little flat-ish thing here. There we go. Okay. Wheels. Let's do power 50%. If we do the power too much, we'll just skid and slid, slide would be a problem, but I think I think that'll be okay. Much better. We got some really funky lights going on up here. What kind of lights are those? Yeah, there's no question the WBT would not have made it through that little tunnel. That's okay. Got a little bridge. Oh, neat. I like that. Okay, it looks like we're getting up to a flat place here. And there's a little valley. Are we going back down again? I thought we were going to be at the top. Oh, there is a sign. There is a fork in the road. There is a flying ship. What is this ship? Goodbye, ship. Okay. So what is with the fork in the road? Let's see. We've got Ironwood Resort is straightforward or Ironing Corp. Wait, Mining Corp. Ironwood Mountain Facility. Oh, okay, so we've got a mining facility as well as a resort. Well, I'm going to go to the resort first because I feel like a little bit of relaxing, and oh my goodness, we are shaking all over the place. Welcome to Space Engineers, everybody. It's been a while since I've said that. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. I can't drive. Okay, it's all good. 
Is that a bridge? That is a cool looking bridge. If that, that is, that is a bridge and that looks really cool. That is a solid bridge. I am really liking this. There's a, wow, that's quite a bridge. I should have had driving music this whole way. Wait a minute. That's right. I edit my own videos. I can have driving music. Retroactively put in driving music that you've already been listening to. This is a much longer trek than I was expecting. That's okay. It's pretty drive. And there are no spiders. Well, there it is. That's the chalet right over there. It's got to be. I mean, it's got the whole sloped roof thing and everything. That's awesome. It must be around this corner. I'm gonna get my skis ready, and I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. Okay, that is really cool looking. That is absolutely gorgeous. I want to go here in real life. This looks awesome. Okay, this is really cool. I have to go take a look at this. This looks so cool. And not just because it's up in the mountains and it's cold, but I'm bum. Okay. Oh, very cool. Welcome to the Ironwood Ridge Resort. We hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, they even got a check-in desk with nobody behind it. That's okay. I'll check people in. Welcome. Oh, whoa. What's that? There's like dudes with guns up here. Uh, frozen dudes with guns up here. Are you guys okay? Guys, are you okay? Okay, we need to find you hot chocolate quick. Uh, the business center. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> what? No fax machines? Okay, kidding. Who needs a fax machine? <laughs> I assume that in the future that Space Engineers exists in, fax machines have been finally, finally obsoleted. You'd think they'd be gone in 2018, but are they? No. My doctor just told me to fax something. And I'm like, do you know what millennium we're in? Why do I have to fax it? Anyway, enough with the whining. Okay, looking for hot chocolate. Where would they have hot chocolate? Ooh, there's a fire. And a pool table. And video games. And none of which work. Um, oh, this is so cool. They did such a great job. I love this. Let's see. Hot chocolate. There's a skier. Okay. And up here we've got... Uh, this is somebody's room. Hey, you know, wow, there are a lot of Epic Tech fans in this world. I gotta tell you. Everybody seems to have it on their computers. Or on their screens. This guy's got his off. But I'll bet if I turned that on, it would... It would definitely be, have Epic Tech. I'm halfway expecting that one of these days I'm going to walk into the, one of these rooms and find, like, wasted space or morphologists. <laughs> hey, look. It's the holiday episode. <laughs> I love those. really do. All right, these are just a bunch of rooms. Uh, the janitor. Wait, does the janitor have hot chocolate? Whoa, he's got some really nice tools. And I forgot. I left all the good tools in my, um, over in my buggy so i'm just gonna go ahead and take ooh, power cells okay so we haven't checked out the garage i think we've seen everything inside the chalet there is a giant airplane coming at me what what is going on what uh, I, maybe. 
Okay, airfield approach, um, A4E, Whale King, at 3,500, heading 225, wreck. Uh, I was probably supposed to say request something or other, but it got cut off. Okay, so that is going to land on something, and I want to see what, because that would mean... And those were wings wings. Like, those were, like, flying wings. So it's heading that direction. Okay, which direction am I? Um, so that's where I was. So it's kind of exact opposite of my landing area, past the chalet, and down there. There's got to be some sort of landing strip or something. Okay gonna need to go and check that out because something was flying that and I want to know what ow that was falling a little harder than I wanted okay well it's gone now so I am going to go and like check out this garage Opening front garage doors, venting the whole thing. There are wings inside. That makes me happy. I want wings. Yes, I do. I want wings. How about you? Woohoo! Don't forget gyros. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody's watched some of my videos. Grind me. That seems suggestive. Okay. So, in theory, I should have airplane parts now. I have some airplane parts. That's cool. So, you might notice that it's dark outside all of a sudden. That's because we ran across lots of little glitches, but we got them figured out and all's good. And now I have wings. Hooray. Let's see. Is this going to open up the back doors? Slowly. Ooh. This looks like a way to take off. And that... <laughs> That is quite a cliff. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna make an airplane and I'm gonna go flying all over the place. And I see that they've given me an example up here. That is a driving vehicle with wings attached. Because I don't have any kind of thrusters that will work on the planet. Which means that I need to drive off of this with like wings attached I can do that maybe sit by the fire for a little bit actually no wait I forgot I was rescuing these guys guys are you okay hmm I wonder if I could figure out a way to get them over to the fire that's what I need to figure out if I can get them over to the fire, then they should warm up and thaw out, right? I'm sure they'll be fine. Also, there is something on the news. Oh. Hang on. Oh, Mining Corporation increases patent enforcement operations in remote. Is there more on this one? No, of course not. That would be silly. All right. That's there they've some sort of patent something. Okay, something story related it looks like maybe. Okay, don't worry, dude. I'm going to rescue you. Oh, that's like part of it. Fern in a tub. I don't need a fern in a tub. I need to save this guy's life. Okay, we're going to put it like that. Let's go ahead and build it up. Get rid of that. Let's find the rotor. 
that I just made. Solar rotor, rotor, and rotor two. That's gonna be mine. We're going to add a small head. And then we're going to make a series of small blocks coming out this way. Need some motors, huh? Well, that didn't really work. Clearly, we're going to have to be more careful with this. I'm not used to having to be careful with things. There we go. So now... It's actually attached, and it's got something we can work with. Unless, of course, I can't attach to anything. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautifully horrible. What I wouldn't give for a medieval engineer's rope right now. Just right-click and pull. Can I shove it from here? Come on, let me shove this. You're so annoying. I have a feeling your head is stuck. Now what are you stuck in? You're going the wrong way! That's gonna make you colder! Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, you wait there. You're not gonna get any more frozen. I'm gonna get your buddy. Can I put a full-size gyroscope on here? Need more steel plate. Well, I'm gonna have to move the steel plate anyway. That kind of is what I wanted. Sort of. You okay, dude? Okay. Now I just need power on this sucker. I think I can get away with doing a battery. 120 power cells? No. But wait. If I put a rotor on here... There, that'll work. A small battery is only 20 power cells. What do you mean this is the most ridiculous project I've ever made? Of course it is. Okay, maybe not, but it's definitely in the top 10. All right, rotor, let's go ahead and lock this. Rotor lock, why are you sparking? So now, think if I go to the gyroscope and I override controls just a little bit no no There's sparks all over the place it's just screaming bloody murder right now want it to go down there. If it goes down there, it's gonna f fall down and do bad things. Dude, I'm gonna save you. Don't worry about it. That didn't help a lot. That's getting worse. I apologize for anybody who is watching this thinking that I know what I'm doing or that really I'm any use at all. But we're going to do this because I want an engineering challenge and this is an engineering challenge and I'm failing at it, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. Reverse. To the ceiling. That's not going to make it. Anywhere close to the ceiling. What? Oh, it's a half block? Come on. <laughs> of course it does. Of course it does. You're in my way. All right. Now, reverse and connect. Are you kidding me? We'll put two blocks on you. Go, connect, do a thing. <laughs> now you 
Are, hold, are you strong enough to reverse and lift this thing up? Of course you are. Excellent. How does that help me? Not at all. No, wait, yes it does. Nope, not, not enough. How does this help? Is this even close to remotely useful? If I remove these two, and I put the gyroscope here, now I should be able to put these two back. And reverse. Set it back down in nice and comfortably. Take this off. I can get it to make a lot of sparks. But I think it's something... That should be able to. That should be able to roll. Why can't that roll? Is it stuck in there because there's not enough room, like, side to side? Duh! I fell down. Oh, hey. Large reactor. Let's try this again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, this is what I was expecting. Whoops. I may have damaged something. Okay. I got it. So now, can we get this thing to rotate out? Oops. Oops. Uh-oh. Okay, minor reactor leak. Um, this guy's face down into a block. This isn't going anywhere. It's almost like it was a bad idea to try to save this guy. Come on. Karma's just not on my side. Oops. I'll admit it. It was a bad idea. You know, I know you wanted me to say it, so I'll say it. It was a bad idea. I shouldn't have tried to save the frozen guy. I was just trying to be, you know, a good human being and stuff. But maybe my real problem was, you know trying to do it in such an insane manner. Whoops. Oh, now he's down here. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to survive this anyway. We're just going to, you know, nobody needs to know this happened. This is it's okay. Gonna... What frozen guys? They... I didn't see them. Did you? They weren't here. There. See? It looks exactly like it did before. No one will ever know. <laughs> oh. Just close these doors, and we have a minor power problem. There's a ton of batteries on board, so... Oh, there's stuff for recharge. That's the problem. Everything's fine. See? It's as if nothing happened. I don't know what happened to those frozen guys. They must have wandered off. I think they were fine. And this light, I'll be happy to fix it for you. There you go. Your maintenance staff really needs to get on that. So, I think next time we're going to make ourselves a uh, flying getaway vehicle. I mean, uh, just a glider for fun. And we'll escape. 
Oh, we also need to check out the mine. So what do you guys think? Glider first, go check out the mine. Um, what fun things should I do? And I want to take a look at this in the daytime. Oh, my. Makes me wonder what's down there. Let's see. We've got an SOS over there. Could go check that out. But I'm running out of time to record. So, yeah. Is that everything that's on my screen right now? I guess so. Well, anyway, glad we came to the uh, chalet. It's really neat. Alice did a beautiful job on it. Wow. Well, we'll have some fun in the next episode. I've noticed that I can spend as long as I want in the uh, cockpit of this vehicle here and be perfectly safe. It's almost like a cryopod in and of itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and log out right here. And I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.